Okay, guys, so here we are with uh, Immunity, James, if I'm correct, yeah. And uh, I'm going to ask him a few questions about the team and his, his uh, venue here in Cologne. So, hi, James. Um, first of all, I'd like to talk a bit about the team. So, now it's clear that you are a second best team in Australia. Um, how long have you been uh, like competing on the top level, the international level? Uh, for us to be competing on the international level, we've been doing it for uh, about a year now as a team. Um, a few of us, like Sniper, he used to play for Vox Eminor, so he went, uh, he's been overseas before. Um, in Australia, most of us have been playing top level in Australia for quite a while. Um, but yeah, just recently, just international scene, about the last year probably. Okay, so you, you already went to Europe, like you, you've been to France for the Dreamhack, you've been to London, I guess, for the Gfinity. So, oh, how this events like how did you go through this event did you gain a lot of experience playing at the international level uh, last time we went to Europe we learned a lot in terms of what we really need to do to come here to get a result um, we learned that we need to actually have five days of proper practice like almost 12 hour days wake up practice all day go to bed and repeat um, but this time we couldn't get it done um, we had a few problems with our organization in terms of flights being booked late and everything and it was kind of hard because the Asian qualifiers were only a week before this event um, but we learned a lot last time we came to Europe this time not so much but our results aren't as we, we did a few good results can't really complain we got to take the positives and we got to learn from our mistakes that's it okay so yeah, like you mentioned it but so this time you you were only in Europe for the tournament you didn't come before to boot camp or anything no nah, we didn't come for boot camp we tried to but it was just too late we only got one day's practice in and it was just too hard because between handing our gear in for anti uh, anti cheat measures um, all the ESL media stuff we lost like two or three days plus the jet lag it's kind of hard but you know we just made what, what we were dealt with so okay and Okay, so if we look at your like your results, we can see a, like a sign of improvement. Because if we remember the Dreamhack Tour, you didn't go through the playoff, but then you kind of did a bit better at the Definity, and now you kind of like put in danger Kingwin very hard. So how, how does it feel? Do you think there is a different play style in Europe and you have to adapt, or is it just your own level? Oh, 100%. Um, coming to Europe, you really need like just two days practice just to learn the play style. Not even like trying to work on strategy or anything. You just need to learn how they play because they play so different to everywhere else. Um, definitely we can see progression. Um, we're improving every single tournament. We're improving every single game. Um, so there's, there's always a positive in that. And um, yeah, just got to make sure for the future we're coming here boot camping and getting as much practice in as possible. Okay, and like uh, when we, when you were playing against Kingwin, um, I could heard like some caster. I don't know if it's Anders or anyone else, but he said that you have a really good T side. But the problem is you can't have a, a good CD side because there is no many good teams in Australia to compete at the high level for T side. So do you agree with that? Definitely, and not only that, um, we get into bad habits in Australia because we are skilled players. We've got the aim, we've got the chemistry. We can just do bad things and still get away with it in Australia. So we pick up on bad habits. Um, we rely too much on our aim, which is a big part of this game. But we also need our teamwork. We need our chemistry, um, which during the Kingwin game it was showing for three quarters of the game, and that's bad by us. We should have closed that game out. Um, but it just comes down to experience. We need an experience to closing games out and um, yeah okay so yeah you're right so let's talk a bit about the event pro like properly uh, so you had to face VP on the first match it, it was kind of hard but still well it was on Cobol maybe you could have done better and then it was that King win match so close for you so how, how does it feel um, it feels weird coming here and putting up those results. Playing as Virtus Pro, we um, we did a lot of research against them. Um, we were actually pretty happy with it being cobblestone. Um, getting six rounds on our terrace side shows that you know we are we are a good team. But just once again, our counter terrace side just let us down. Um, we found that VP are just the sort of team, and any team here is going to find a weakness and just exploit it until you change it on the fly, which we weren't able to do. We weren't able to adapt. And then coming to our Kingwin game, we actually. 
the way that ESL worked is they sent us an email at like midnight saying who we were going to play and we were so tired so we had like five minutes to do some we didn't even do anything really like it was just way too tired so we just kind of tried to play our own game and it worked for three quarters of the game and then just Dennis and Scream and Rain just went ham pretty much and just destroyed us. They just went lockdown mode, which is kind of hard, but yeah. So, I mean, like, well, are you gonna stick together? Are you gonna try your, your chance for the next major qualifying for the Oceania or the Asian area? Yeah, definitely. I think it's vital for a team like us to come to these majors. We need to come. Um, not only is it improving us, but it's improving the Australian scene and the Asian scene. The Asian scene, when we went over there, we learned that they, are, they aren't far behind us. Um, teams like Sky Red, QU, and all those other teams, if they get the funding and support behind them, they're going to be right up there as well. So I think in the, in the near future, there'll be a change. And talking about this, do you know if this comes from Valve or ESL, like the will to expand a bit the game to make it more, like to make its image more uh, brightening in the Asia or something? I'm not too sure who it's going to have to come from. Um, Valve already, or whoever Valve and so I guess together, have already improved it by giving Oceania two spots. And it wasn't just giving Australia two spots, it even gave Asia the chance. So I can only see it getting bigger for the future, and yeah, just hopefully they keep doing it. So I think I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the of the day. So thank you for the interview. If you want to add a few words for your sponsors and stuff. Uh, yeah, thanks to Team Unity, um, all our sponsors, Steel Series, BenQ, AK Racing, uh, Gigabyte, um, Fractal Design, anyone else who I missed out, I'm sorry. And cheers for the interview, man. Thank you.